Hi viewers, welcome to LMS Solution. Today we are going to see about uh, how to detect uh, high impedance fault in the distribution feeder or distribution system. Uh, high impedance fault nothing but uh, the conductor uh, will be touched with the uh, tree or is touched with the ground, right? So because of that, uh, uh, that means that uh, tree and ground will be create a uh, high impedance path. So this uh, and also due to, due to this high impedance fault, uh, there will be a fire uh, will be generated. Okay. So here you can see that you see that different uh, things, right? So this is because of that high impedance fault. Okay. So this is an example for a uh, so high, high impedance fault. So so here you can see the different uh, scenario. So these are the example for a uh, high impedance fault on concrete surface, uh, high impedance fault on grass surface, right? So you will see the different high impedance fault, okay? So we need to detect that fault uh, and you have to figure out uh, what kind of high impedance fault is occurring in the system and then which uh, line is affected by the high impedance fault, okay? So here we are going to do, uh, that means uh, we are going to create the high impedance fault uh, in the power so that means uh, distribution system in MATLAB and then how we are going to going to detect that uh, high impedance fault by using neural network. So here you will see that so this is a simulating model we developed for uh, uh, the testing that high impedance fault in the distribution system. For example, it have uh, two end right sending and receiving end. So both then they having 33 kilo volt. Okay. And then the 30, uh, 33 kilovolt will be uh, stepped down to 11 kilovolt by using step down transformer. And then it have feeder lines. Okay. And then here we have uh, 11 to 33. Uh, that means we are going to step up the voltage from 11 kilovolt to th uh, 33 kilovolt and then send to that uh, uh, receiving end. Okay. So here you can see that. So here we are creating that uh, high impedance fault. Okay. So you will see that uh, the structure of high impedance fault. So this is structure of high impedance fault. So he, here you will see that, right? So this is a structure of uh, high impedance fault, right? So we need to create that uh, structure of high impedance fault. So when you have to click this one, right? On this paper, you will get the detail. Okay. So here you can see that. So this is structure of high impedance fault. So we need to create that uh, high impedance fault in the distribution system. So here the same kind of simulation model we are going to implement it here. Okay. So here you can see that. So this is uh, a high impedance fault model. Okay. In MATLAB. Okay. So we refer that paper. So we refer this paper and then and then uh, we develop that uh, high impedance fault. Okay in the MATLAB and then it will be create that high impedance uh, fault in the system okay so this fault can be created in the any of the three line phase a phase b or phase c okay so here that high impedance uh, so high impedance fault is connected with the phase a but now uh, i'm not create a fault here right so just i'm going to simulate this model so here you will see that this is a uh, sending and voltage and current so here you will see that uh, the sending and current for different uh, line okay and then here you will see that rms value of that uh, sending and voltage and here you will see that uh, rms current of the sending and side and then here you will see that the receiving and voltage and current okay so here we are not creating creating any fault right so now i'm going to create the fault at a time of 0.1 seconds at the, at the line A, right? So it will be create the, the high impedance fault at the line A. Okay, now I am going to simulate this model. So now you check the result, right? So the phase A only having that current of around 30 amps, okay? So here you will see that, right? So phase A only affected by the high impedance fault, okay? So here we need to detect that fault which line have a high impedance fault okay so uh, for example i'm going to change this line to 
here I am going to create the fault in the phase B ok now I am going to simulate the model so now we can see that so it will be create the problem in the line B only ok so because of that it will be mm, that mean current will be very high so because of that only that uh, fire mm, uh, problem is occurring the and uh, because of that high emittance fault ok on the concrete surface or a uh, uh, gross surface ok so we need to detect this problem right so for that we are going to collect the data of uh, the sending and voltage and uh, sending and current ok as an input data and then output data so based upon that uh, target we have to create some logic so here already we collect the data so this is a data right so this is a input data for the uh, different fault ok uh, that means achievement fault in the phase A, phase B and phase C and the normal case so this is a target data so target data we are fixed at uh, uh, 3 value 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 and then 0 1 0 and then 0 0 1 ok so to classify the data and then this data going to be uh, used to for train the neural network so here I am going to use end and start and then click fitting app and click next and then here I am going to load the input data here I am going to load the target data and then click matrix rows and then click next click next and then here I am going to train the neural network so after training right I am going to simulate the simulating diagram for neural network so this diagram uh, this neural network used for uh, detect the fault as well as classify the fault that means which line uh, having the high impedance fault right so for that we can use this one ok so next I am going to open that final model of the system right so this is a final model so here you can see that the input will be RMS voltage and RMS current of the sending end so neural network will receive the uh, this 6 input and then it will provide the logic output right that means we will get 3 output right so based upon that we have to detect that mean uh, so this scope will be uh, provide the status of fault fault is occur or not so this will be provide the status of uh, the fault in the line which fault having high, uh, high impedance fault ok so now I am going to here I am going to change uh, the that mean uh, resistance of the surface will be 70 ohms and then so here the uh, high impedance fault will be created in the line C right so now I am going to simulate this model so now you can see that the fault is detected right and then uh, classified fault is a high impedance fault at the phase C ok suppose I am going to change this detail to phase B ok and then I am going to simulate this one so here also fault is detected here the classification of fault is high impedance fault at the phase B ok so next I am going to create the fault in the phase A and then simulate the model so here you can see that fault is detected and then fault is classified as a high impedance fault in the phase A ok during that time here you can refer this the current of the sending end right and voltage of the sending end so here you can see that the current and voltage of the receiving end also ok so the high impedance fault when we affect only particular uh, line ok so here by using neural network we detect the fault of high impedance uh, fault in the system as well as uh, class with the fault which line having high impedance fault by using neural network thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe our channel and also click bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye